I'm Leandra from Paper Artsy and in this video I'm going to share with you two new stamps and two new stencils from Sarah Newman as part of her 2016 new product release. We've got some really lovely samples to share with you, uh, lots of ideas with these stamps which really continue along in the same vein as what she's done last year. So perfect for journaling and, uh, and your card making. Let's take a look. So here are the new stamps from Sarah Newman. She's up to plate number 19 and 20 with us. It's been a few years now she's been designing stamps. And this time she's gone for quite a masculine set with the, the ship and the travel theme here. And then into classic elements, leaves, which are just useful all year round. Um, she's also got a couple of stencils, which is the first time she's done stencils with us. And um, these, the elements on here, this is, you can see that um, Debs Wainwright has used the elements there on that. But you'll see them coming through on lots of samples as we work through. And then this one here is, obviously works very well with that stamp set because it's got lots of leaves on it. So let's just have a couple of samples with that. This is by Jenny Atkinson. And so she's actually used the stencil of the leaf there. I can feel the grunge paste texture on that one. And the same with this sample here. She's got the leaf with grunge paste through in the background. She's really good at um, using sprays as well on top of the paint. So she's got this lovely sprayed effect on top of the um, paint. And of course a crackle background under the quote on that one there. So, Let's have a look at some other samples that we've got going on. So here's another one from Debs Wainwright. Again, she's lots of layers in her work. So she's got um, the leaves stamped, but also stencil using the stencil at the same time. So fantastic layering. This one's a more stripped back sample for Debs. Again, little dots feature through the stencil around the edges. And I love how she's taken this leaf, stamped it, and then just randomly drawn on top of it too with a, a pen to give that really sort of rustic outline. This one's also by Debs. So here you've got um, the leaf stamp which she's stamped and embossed to create a resist effect. And then simple matting and layering. And another one by Debs. And on this particular sample she's used the stamp here but she's also used the stencil here. So I can feel the texture of the grunge paste here and she's then put blue paint on top but sanded it a little bit and of course it just sort of gives you a much more rustic effect of the blue paint on top of the grunge paste. Really nice effect there. And another one from Debs. Again, she just I think she really liked this leaves set. She did loads of samples with that. Now we've also got a sample here from Alison Hall. So simple matting, layering, she's created lovely um, textured background here and stamped over the top of that. If you go to Alison's blog she'll explain how she's created all of that. And here's another one from Alison using set 19. And the background again on here she's got these sort of sharp lines. I'm really not sure how she's done it but I love it. I love the effect. And then this one's from Alison too so she's got a fine detail crackle background and the leaves layered up on top. And here is a sample by Jenny. So again she's used the stencil in the background there. And there's one by Sarah Newman. This is typical Sarah style. Very, um, she does. She has this vintage element to what she does, but she always arranges things in a very clean and simple manner. So she's just stamped repeatedly the element. Looks really cool. And then I've got a few more samples here from this set. So here you can see the um, the stencil there has been used in the background and outlined. 
there's a bit of crackle glaze going on on the clock which is an element on this stamp set here and then from Jenny so look at how she's got the um, the clock in the background here but she's brought in some other stamps too from previous sets of Sarah's to, and then whitewashed over the top of that background which really softens it off and this one's also from Jenny and then finally from Sarah so wonderful that Sarah's got some stencils for this release and um, I think you're going to have a lot of fun with those ones they'll work beautifully with what you've already got from Sarah Newman if you would like more information on the samples that you've seen in this video the people who made those samples or if you want to know where you can buy these products then click on the link in the description below on this video and it will take you straight through to the Paper Artsy blog post that matches this new release if you'd like to find out about more of our 2016 new product releases, click on the playlist and you'll be able to see lots of other videos with other new products from us here at Paper Artsy.